Hello, Mr. and Mrs. Brookings Harbor and all the fishing boats at sea. I'm Cousin Bruce Ellis. And I'm Kat Liddell. And, and this, this is, is the Insider, Insider Report. Report. So let your ears do the walking as we fill you in on what's going on in the Brookings Harbor area and beyond. beyond. Well, hello, 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 and welcome to this week's show that keeps you in the know. In case uh, it, it isn't obvious to you, this is not Bruce speaking. This is Kat filling in for Bruce as the main host today on the Insider Report. And with me in the studio today, I have a very special guest, co-host today. It's Jason Liddell. Hey, Kat. Awesome hey. to be here. Love doing this with you. Hey, Jason. So uh, it was Fourth of July weekend. There was a lot going on. And it feels like we actually like we were in the thick of everything that was going on this weekend. Um, let's give a recap of what our weekend was like. Oh, we did so much that I couldn't remember what we did. Um, we definitely went to Sky High Fourth of July. Uh huh. Had a ton of fun there. Um, went to go see the fireworks on the beach. Mm-hmm. Had ourselves a nice little picnic. Oh my gosh, yeah, it was the cutest thing. <laughs> I haven't done a picnic on the beach yeah. in, in like ages. You so. did it up a really nice like cheese and cracker. Right, yeah, plate. yeah. That was nice. And uh, we were at Slam and Salmon pretty much all weekend. We did a 5K. Oh, yeah. Well, you ran a 5K. I walked most of a 5K. <laughs> hey, but you started off that first mile with me, so yeah. that was pretty cool. <laughs> yeah, and it was for the Checo Brewing Company. They do their yearly mm-hmm. um, 5K run, which is really awesome. And remind me what it benefits. Yeah, so it benefits Wild River's Animal Rescue up in yeah. Gold Beach. So, yeah, that was pretty cool. In addition to, like, all the cool stuff that you get, like, the pine glass and the t shirt Yeah, you get a pine glass t-shirt and a free beer token. It was a lot of fun. <laughs> right, and it all goes to a good cause. So, um, yeah, no, that was, a, that was a ton of fun, too. And, and yeah, no, we were sitting there, like, racking our brains, you know, when you have a weekend when you're, where you do so much that you've forgotten what you've done when asked about your weekend. <laughs> that was the kind of weekend that we had. Well, we hope that everybody had a great weekend as well, that you got out there and had a good time. And we're going to be telling you more about what's coming up in the rest of July here. And before we get started, we would like to thank the Oregon South Coast Fishermen, otherwise known as the Castaways, Just the Jeweler and Oregon Coast VIP Marketing for sponsoring the Insider Report on KCIW 100.7 FM. Your support makes this program possible. And if you're listening out there and you'd like your business to be named as a sponsor for this show or any other KCIW program, you can learn more and reach out about doing that at KCIW.org. Well, We don't have a guest today, so let's take a look at the music schedule. Let's see what's coming up for the rest of July here. Starting things off at the Elk Valley Casino at their Betty Green Center. On the 13th, they're going to have comedian Matt Fulcheron at 8 p.m. Doors open at 7.30 p.m. And then on the 26th, it's Jason Aldean Tribute at 8 p.m. Doors opening at 7 o'clock that day. Then over at their Warriors Bar and Grill, on the 12th and 13th, it's going to be Mike Powell playing from 6.30 to 9.30. On the 19th and 20th, Steve Berg at 7. And then on the 26th and 27th, Jesse Mead playing at 7. And Cisco will be having three shows coming up on July 13th, 20th, and 27th. They'll be playing at the Brookings Harbor Farmer's Market from 10 a.m. to 2 p.m. Mm-hmm. And over at the Travel Oregon Welcome Center, they have events that all start at 2 p.m. On the 13th, it's going to be Nathan Stone playing acoustic guitar. On the 14th, there's going to be an educational lecture from Bill Gorham about beach combing and tide pooling on the Curry County coast. Then on the 20th, Danielle Duran and Mark McDonald are going to be playing. They're a guitar and vocalist duo. And then it's going to be C.R. Taylor on the 27th with acoustic guitar and vocals. The Italian guys will play twice this month, July 11th and July 18th at Kuntai, 6 p.m. And then the Mighty Steelheads are going to play on the 20th at the Relay for Life in Crescent City. That's at the Mike Whalen Field. And they're going to be playing from 6.30 to 8 And also on the 27th, they're going to be at Pops at 7.30 p.m. And P.A. and T. Roy are playing three times this month, July 12th at Misty Mountain Brewing from 6 to 8 p.m., on July 13th at Kuntai from 6 to 8, and then on the 26th at the Elks Lodge from 7 to 9. All right, and we've got a lineup of music here from Mr. Lon Goddard. On the 19th, he's playing at Misty Mountain Brewing from 6 to 8. Then on the 10th and the 24th, he's going to be at Kuntai from 6 to 8. And on the 18th, he's going to be at the Brian Scott Gallery's Brown Bag Lunch from 11.30 to 1.30. Mike Powell is going to be playing on the 13th at Elk Valley Casino Warriors Room from 6 to 9. 
On the 20th, at Augustino's Estate and Vineyard from 4 to 7. And on the 26th, at Checo Brewing Company from 6 to 8. And then Disturbing the Peace is going to be playing on the 26th at the Del Norte Golf Course. Music they're running from 4 to 7. And the Enoteca has a ton of shows coming up. Starting on the 10th, they have Daikaiju from 8 to 10 p.m. On the 12th, it'll be the Spence Bros from 8 to 10 p.m. On the 13th, Stephanie Latour and the Reverbs from 7 to 9 p.m. On the 19th, Dog Park Monday from 8 to 10 p.m. On the 20th, The Italian Guys from 7 to 9. On the 26th, To Kilma from 8 to 10. And on the 27th, The Shark Tones from 7 to 9 p.m. And then we have some events here from Oxenfree in Brookings. On the 12th, they're going to have a comedy night with a variety of comics from Eugene, Oregon. That starts at 8.30. And then on the 20th, they're going to have 1002. That's an indie alt-rock band playing at 8.30. And then on the 27th, they're going to host Rogue Rage Duo. That's a Delta Blues group, again, playing at 8.30 p.m. All right. Now let's get into the meat of the show here. We're going to start things off with the uh, events and happenings at the Checo Library at 405 Alder Street in Brookings. First, they want to invite folks to join them for summer reading. This year's summer reading program, Explore Your World, is running through August 15th. In addition to their classic reading challenges for fun prizes, this year's program offers weekly special events on Thursday afternoons for youth and families through the first week of August. You can grab reading challenge cards for both kids and adults at the front desk whenever the library is open. And then they have some weekly events that are always happening. On Mondays, they have a new event at 5.30 p.m. They have a walking group in Espanol. This is a new weekly walking and conversation group for Spanish speakers. Then on Tuesdays at 11 a.m., they've got their story time. That's stories, songs, and simple crafts for young children. And then on 1.30 p.m. on Tuesdays, they have a free chair yoga class. And then on Fridays at 4 p.m., they have Hora del Cuento. That's stories, songs, and simple crafts for young children, all led in Spanish. And then for some special events coming up here in the next couple of weeks, on July 11th at 3 p.m., they have a summer reading event that's called Journey Under the Sea. This is a hands-on science experience with the Museum of Natural and Cultural History based out of the University of Oregon up in Eugene, and youth and families of all ages are welcome. Then on the 13th at 2 p.m., they have a creative writing class with Blake Allwood. This free class is welcome to anyone who wishes to learn more about the creative writing process. Then on Saturday, July 20th at 2 p.m., they're having a Mario Kart tournament. You can join Volunteer D for an open Mario Kart tourney in the library's forest room. Youth, teen, or adult gamers of all ages are invited to compete. Then on Tuesday, July 23rd at 5.30, they're having another game night at Checo Brewing Co. So this is an open game night that features games from the Checo Library's board game collection, and it's hosted by Checo Brewing Company at their location on Railroad Street. You can try a game from the library or bring one of your favorites to share. This is just a free and fun opportunity to meet and connect with other board game enthusiasts in the community with plenty of table space to spread out. And kids are welcome, but to please note they do need to be accompanied by an adult. And game night happens every second and fourth Tuesday of the month. And then on July 24th at 1 o'clock, there's a free art workshop with Tori. You can join volunteer and local artist Tori for a free hands-on art workshop. Materials are always provided, and this workshop, please note, is geared toward adult artists and crafters. They also have some book clubs coming up this week. On July 10th at 4 p.m., they have their Kids Book Club. This is geared toward 2nd through 5th graders, and kids vote on and pick the books that they read each month. Then on Thursday, June 11th at 5 o'clock, they have Club de Lectora. The library's Spanish language book club encourages parents with children to attend and enjoy an open, welcoming atmosphere. And of course, all library-led programs and events are free to attend, whether or not you have a library card. And for more information, you can visit checkcolibrary.org and check out their events calendar. You can follow them on Facebook, or you can give them a call at 541-469-7738. The Legends Arcade, located at 16378 Lower Harbor Road, presents the first Pog Tournament. July 13, 2024, come join Legends Arcade for our first Pog Tournament. Each registrant will receive a slammer and a series of Pogs to play with. 
there will be a registration fee, and will you be their first POG champion? Mm -hmm. I don't know about you, Kat, but I think I'm barely old enough to remember <laughs> what POGs are. I, bear, I remember <laughs> collecting and playing with them in a way that was probably not POG. I didn't even know it was actually played. <laughs> I didn't know it was a game until years yeah, later. It was yeah. just <laughs> before like our collective memory started. We were kids of the early 90s, you know, it's like school. <laughs> hey, Four Castle Books is presenting The Spoken Word. This is an open mic poetry and short prose event. This is happening on the 11th of July at 5.45 p.m., and it's hosted by local poet Michael Spring. For more information about the event, you can call 541-450-1115. Can I jump in and mention how we got to work with Michael Spring uh, recently as a poet? Absolutely. Um, yeah. He was a, one of our, our, our guest acts in Three Penny Theater Co.'s summer cabaret that we did mm -hmm. recently with the Czech Activity Center. Mm -hmm. uh, he was our basically our sole poet, and it's a really awesome original poetry along with his djembe drum. Oh, yeah, the djembe was sick, actually. It was like, you know, it was just rocking it. It's a big old djembe. Yeah. Too. Yeah, yeah, it was a good one. <laughs> yeah, no, he's really talented. Well. And the Lucky 7 Casino presents Brittany Kellogg in concert July 12th at 8 p.m. Brittany Kellogg is coming to Lucky 7 Casino and Hotel for a live performance in the Talwa Event Center. Tickets are available in advance and on the day of the event. Doors open at 7 p.m. and the show starts at 8 p.m. Note that you must be 21 years or older to attend this event. And then the Wild Rivers Dance Studio at their new location at 1109 Checo Avenue is presenting some upcoming summer dance camps. To start things off here, first up is a hip-hop dance camp that is going from the 15th through the 18th of July. You can learn cool moves, master hip-hop techniques, and unleash your inner creativity. This camp is well-suited for hip-hop-loving dancers of all genders, and ages 5 through 8 meet at 11 a.m. Ages 9 and up meet at 11.15 a.m. Then Camp Swifty is running from the 17th through the 20th. Get ready to shake it off. Campers will dance and sing to their fave Swifty hits, make friendship bracelets, and create fan art. And ages 4 through 8 meet at 9 a.m. for the camp. Ages 9 and up meet at 1030. And then they have a martial arts camp coming up on the 22nd through the 25th. You can take on agility challenges and learn self-defense moves in a thrilling, supportive environment. This is a co-ed class, and ages 4 through 8 meet at 9 a.m., ages 9 and up meet at 10.15. And scholarships are available for camp tuition. To sign up or learn more, you can contact Sky Marie directly at 817-823-0684, or you can visit wildriversdance.com. And Wild Rivers Dance was also part of the Summer Cabaret. Mm -hmm. Sky Marie and several of her students did a tap routine mm -hmm. to uh, In the Mood by Glenn Miller, and it was really awesome to watch. Mm -hmm. And um, yeah, I know they're in their new studio, and I know for a fact that it's air-conditioned, which might be a nice <laughs> uh, place to go <laughs> this summer. Boiling, right, it did. And it was really cool. The tap routine also made an appearance at the uh, Sky Eye Fourth of July. He did, yeah. Festivities, yeah, yeah. And that was, that was pretty fun to watch, yeah. It's really cool seeing them mm -hmm. all over the place. Tap dancing is just fun to watch. <laughs> it all. is, yeah. too. <laughs> uh, Trinity Lutheran Church at 1200 Easy Street presents Vacation Bible School Christmas in July. From July 15th to the 19th, 9 a.m. to noon, for children up to 6th grade, there will be games, songs, play, crafts, and fun. It's free to all participants, and you can register at www.ticbrookings.org or call 541-469-3411. And then the Bigfoot Blues Fest is happening on the 27th and 28th of this month. And Saturday, it's going to run from 10 a.m. to 9 p.m. On Sunday, it's going to run from 10 a.m. to 6 p.m. It's Blues on the Boardwalk. It's two days of blues bands on stage. There's going to be local vendors, food, beer garden, live music, kids' activities, and just general blues for everyone. The Relay for Life will be taking place on the 20th at 6 p.m., the 21st at noon. Relay for Life 2024 will take place on July 20th and 21st. They look forward to seeing everyone at the Del Norte High School track. They are still searching for volunteers to help make sure this event is successful. Please call or text the chair of the planning committee if you're able to give time or would like to sponsor this event. Contact Chelsea Sanyaulu or call or text at 707-951-9154. All right. And then over at Azalea Park, they're having their ongoing American Music Festival. That's free summer concerts in the park. And coming up, they're going to present Judd Who's, a modern rock band, on Sunday the 21st from 1 to 3. Judd Who's is an independent American rock band from the Black Hills of South Dakota. And from July 24th to July 28th, we'll have the Curry County Fair at the Curry County Fairgrounds in Gold Beach. 
Experience the magic of cowbells and seashells at the Curry County Fair, hosted at the Event Center on the Beach in Gold Beach. This unique fair is the only one on the West Coast where you can enjoy the nostalgic charm of a traditional county fair right on the seashore. Take in breathtaking ocean views from the top of the Ferris wheel, then indulge in fair favorites like funnel cake, corn dogs, and cotton candy. Kids will be delighted by performers and activities tailored just for them, including juggling shows and a circus tent where they can try their hand at the ags. Don't miss the popular reptile display and comedy shows for all ages. Enjoy livestock shows, auctions, and thrilling bull riding events all set to a lively backdrop of live music. For more info, including an event schedule and map, you can visit eventcenteronthebeach.com. All right. And then the Checo Pelican Players are going to be presenting The Princess Parade. This is a locally written play and talent show by B.J. Ferris. And it's opening July 26th. It's going to run through August 4th at the Checo Playhouse located at 1240 Checo Avenue in Brookings. Part children's play, part local talent show. An aging queen grants audience to princesses from across the world in her search for an heir. And then an evil duke, of course, attempts to murder the queen, so he may inherit the kingdom. Friday and Saturday performances happen at 7.30 p.m. Sunday matinees are at 2 p.m. Tickets are $15 for adults, $7 for students. Doors open 45 minutes before each performance. And tickets are available at the door on the day of performance or online at checkopelicanplayers.org. And if you want specific seats, you can reserve them in advance by calling the Ferrises at 541-469-1857. We have a friend uh, who's Mm -hmm. going to be in the Princess Parade who's also casted. In an upcoming show by Three Penny Theater Co., mm-hmm. Sylvia. So uh, Tiffany yeah. Hasick will be in Princess Parade and then will be joining us on stage this fall. Yeah. Sylvia. I'm excited to see the talent that she has prepped. I can't wait to see that. The South Coast Humane Society presents Furball 2024 at the Brookings Elks Lodge. July 27th from 5 to 10 p.m. Dinner, cocktails, dancing, costume contest, live auction, silent auction, and much more. It's sold out now, but you can check in as it nears as they do get cancellations. For info and to check on cancellations, you can call 760-521-3200. All right. And then the Curry Public Library, located in Gold Beach, is presenting Memory Cafe Curry. This is an ongoing program. Memory Cafe Curry meets the third Wednesday of every month from 1030 to noon at the Curry Public Library in Gold Beach. And to register for this program, they ask that you email memorycafe at cplib.net or give them a call at 541-247-7246. A Memory Cafe is an informal social gathering for older adults living with memory loss as well as their care partners. Care partners may include but are not limited to spouses, siblings, children, or friends whose social lives are often just as affected as their loved ones. Memory Cafes are designed to be a casual, stress-free gathering to allow care partners the opportunity to relax and socialize with others in a similar situation. Memory Cafe Curry will be staffed by a qualified social service provider, library staff, and volunteers. That's really cool. I think it's oh, a, yeah. a nice thing to have. Like, like, yeah, just a lovely social event. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Uh, KCIW is giving folks a chance to speak their mind on a show called the KCIW Soapbox. Basically, KCIW is offering two minutes of airtime to anyone who has something to say. There are a few rules, however. No cussing, no slandering, no advertising. But other than that, folks can share what's on their mind. The studio is open every Wednesday from 2 to 3 for people to come in and record. All right. And then over at the Whimsical Griffin, they host regular game nights. That's at 615 Checo Avenue by the Redwood Theater. And they host those game nights on Tuesdays and Fridays from 5 to 9 p.m. and feature such games as Magic the Gathering, Dungeons and Dragons, and board games. And the Meals on Wheels program is looking for volunteer drivers. They deliver about 75 hot meals a day to seniors that can't make it to the Checo Activity Center for the daily meals that are served there. They have a harbor route and a Brookings route. This is a perfect opportunity for anyone out there that wants to give back to the community and be a friendly face to deliver a hot meal and a little kindness to our local seniors. Whether you're interested in doing a day, a week, or a month, all volunteers are welcome. Please contact Debbie Lutz at 714-423-9797. 
And then the Brookings Harbor Boy Scouts of America are always scouting for new troop members. Boys and girls are invited. Troop 32 and Troop 4032 are now accepting new scouts, as well as adults who are interested in volunteering. Scouts are able to join the troops from fifth grade through age 17. And adults are able to volunteer as long as they are over 21 years old, are able to pass a background check, and are willing to spend about an hour and a half completing a youth protection training course. They meet at Scout Hall from 7 to 8.30 p.m. every Monday night except for holidays. You can come meet the troops and learn more about what scouts can help you achieve. And Scout Hall is located at 414 Azalea Park Road in Brookings. And if you need to get a hold of a scoutmaster, you can contact Troop 32 Scoutmaster Mark Hagland at 541-661-2749. And you can also reach Troop 4032 Scoutmaster Rebecca Wilson at 707-951-3647. The Fog and Fine Art Gallery, located in Wright's Custom Framing and Art Supply at 810 Checo Avenue in Brookings, is a gallery that features 36 local artists in a variety of mediums and a classroom to inspire new and seasoned artists with workshops. Stop by and enjoy all that's new in the gallery, open from 10 a.m. to 5 p.m. Monday through Friday, 10 a.m. to 3 p.m. on Saturdays. For more information on class offerings, painting demonstrations, and artists, Call 541-469-7900, or you can visit them on Facebook at Wright's Custom Framing. All right, and we have a PSA here for Brookings MS Self-Help Support Group. This is a group for conversation and support for people living with MS. That's multiple sclerosis. You can join others living with MS to talk, share experiences of successfully living and coping daily with MS. You can share information and resources in a positive atmosphere, and topics will focus on areas of interest to the group members. And this group is for people living with MS, as well as family, friends, and caregivers. And they do ask that you reach out prior to attending. They ask that you send an email to AudreyMS18 at AOL.com, or you can message them on Facebook. Their group is called MS Walk and Rollers. Meetings happen on the second Tuesday of every month at 11 a.m at the Checo Library's Annex building, and that's the little house across the street from the library. That's at 402 Alder Street in Brookings. And now we have the community kitchen schedule. On Mondays at St. Timothy's, they will serve brunch from 11 to 12, Tuesdays at St. Tim's from 12 to 1, Wednesdays at Star of the Sea Catholic Church from 12 to 1, Thursdays at the Presbyterian Church from 12 to 1, Fridays the Lutheran Church 12 to 1, and the first, third, and fifth Saturdays are also at St. Timothy's from 12 to 1. Second and fourth Saturdays at the Church of Nazarene from 12 to 1. Sundays at St. Timothy's 3 to 4. You can also find the community kitchen schedule at kciw.org. All right. Well, that's everything that we have for July. And um, I just want people to be aware as we're looking ahead into August, there's going to be plenty happening for the month of August as well. Of course, like you don't want to forget about the Pirate Festival that's going to be happening the second weekend of August. And for people who are still uh, checking out their calendars and marking down the dates for that, the Pirate Festival is going to be happening the 9th through the 11th of August down at the Port of Brookings Harbor. It's going to be the classic Pirate Festival experience, of course, all the cosplay, all the vendor booths. Of course, the Mermaid Lagoon, which uh, Three Penny Theater Co. will be casting for this year. Heck yeah. And, uh, and yeah, so just mark your calendars for the 9th through the 11th. And then the weekend after that, August is getting packed as far as festivals are concerned. The Wild Rivers Film Festival is going to be happening the 15th through the 18th of August. And I know they're getting ready to launch their first ever youth filmmaking workshop just next week. And uh, the work that those students will be doing from that workshop is going to be featured at the festival, which is a really cool way to showcase their work and uh, and uh, if people want to come out and show their support for the kids they can get a festival pass for that and if you want to get a festival pass for the Wild Rivers Film Festival they're on sale now you can get them at wildriversfilmfestival.com and uh, that youth workshop filled up really fast. It was really exciting to see how much interest there was. Yeah. I fielded a bunch of messages just telling people to try to get on a wait list. And mm -hmm. so hopefully next year it'll be an even bigger class. Yeah, yeah, it's really exciting. I know this year they're going to be trying to make a, uh, besides learning like the fundamentals in the classroom, where they're going to be like learning how to work with filmmaking equipment, how to go through the pre-production process, like, you know, how you plan for shots, how you plan what you're going to shoot, like doing mm -hmm. screenwriting, all that stuff. Um, at the end of that, in the last few days of the workshop, they're going to go out in the field and their big project is going to be making uh, essentially like an on-the-fly documentary. So they're going to be figuring out like how to interview people, how to get like good B-roll footage and 
and just like make a really really enriching film. So that it's going to be a fun experience. Yeah, I, I'm really I, excited I for so. those kids. Um, and for anyone that knows a small town Nutcracker story, mm-hmm. the the film that was shot here by Sky Marie, mm-hmm. the director and an actor in that movie will be up here for that workshop. Robert the, Douthit. Yeah, Robert Douthit's going to be helping uh, help teach in that workshop. So that's that's really cool. That he's mm-hmm. coming back to teach some kids as well. And yeah. It's just really exciting. Well, hey, that's it. We got no more. It's time to close out this week's show. But before we go, I'd like to give a shout out to our fearless producers, Ray and Tom, for all their great work making us look and sound good on the radio. Thanks for that, Bruce. I want to thank you all for tuning into this week's Insider Report. And please make sure to tune in on a daily basis to KCIW 100.7 FM and listen to all the fine shows that they have to offer. You can listen to all the fantastic show podcasts, including the Insider Report at KCIW.org. And while you're there, you can check out the live streaming that's available as well. But until next week, this is Kat Liddell. Oh, and I'm Jason Liddell. (laughs) Signing off. Please support local businesses. And hey, keep it real. and Spread the love and peace every chance you get. And hey, we'll see you out there. Bam. We made it. Music credits for the preceding show go to kciw.org slash credits.